You know, in the world of production agriculture, our attention is only focused on what the plants take out of the soil. But what if that's only half the story? We're going to be missing out big time. Jim Horman is an educator who wants to tell farmers the whole story. You know, I like to tell farmers that I'm a lazy farmer and uh, I just like to let the microbes and uh, the earthworms do the work for them. The only thing you have to do is you have to feed them and the way you feed them is through the roots. A typical plant will give up anywhere from 25 to 45 percent of its total carbohydrate reserves just to feed those microbes. That plant uh, actually farms the microbes. It sends out hormones to communicate with them and it attracts certain microbes to that plant. These microbes bring in nitrogen, they bring in phosphorus, so they bring in micronutrients, they bring in water and they actually protect that plant from other uh, harmful microbes. Well that's what the plants and the microbes do together is they improve that soil because this is their home and so they make it a better place to live. So how do these ideas tie into the real world of farming? What we've found is that typically when you go to a no-till system, it takes about seven to nine years to convert. Well, one of the things we found is once we started using cover crops, I mean, I'll use Dave Brandt as an example. David no-tilled for 15 to 20 years, and Dave said it wasn't until I started using cover crops that I really started to improve my soil. And the reason being is you're capturing sunlight and you have to feed those microbes 12 months of the year. So if you have live roots 12 months of the year, you're feeding them, plus now you're getting two sets of roots. So you've got your main crop, your corn or soybeans, plus you've added the second crop. And we know that a majority of the organic matter in the soil comes from the roots. And, and we have a new definition for microbes. Microbes are just soluble bags of fertilizer, okay? <laughs> They're just soluble bags of fertilizer. You have to continually feed them. And if you continually feed them, they continually recycle the nutrients. And then when they die, the plant takes some of those nutrients and takes it up, keeps it into a longer form of carbon, puts it into the proteins that can then be converted. Uh, and so it's just a continuous cycle is what it, what it is. Okay. So.